Hey guys, Rory from ANS Gear upstairs with Pepperball product. Today we've got the FTC up here. So if you're looking for um, less than lethal home defense setups right here and you're looking for Pepperball applications, the FTC uh, is something, if you're, if you're trying to do it on a bigger scale, then a little pistol will work for you like the TRP, then maybe the FTC is something you need right here. So. Here's our case that we're getting. It comes with the foam cut out on top to protect it. We've got a little parts kit, manual, O-rings, spring tools right there. We've got our hopper. This is just a basic gravity hopper right here. It's gonna hold, you know, 160-ish, 170 balls or so inside there. No electronics or anything. Obviously, since it is, you know, a paintball gun setup, kind of right there any um electric hopper would work as well so you know if you need something that's uh, gonna give a little bit more feed rate into the gun you could go with like a revolution or an agitating loader uh, but this would work just fine for you right here because you're not gonna be shooting a million balls a second or need to shoot a million balls a second so we've got our standard hopper going on right there and then we've got the gun set up in here so the way this is set up out of the box, if I can get this out of here, here we go, coming out of there, is uh, with tank on the bottom right here. Now this is reversible, so if you wanted to change this setup where the tank is then coming off the back over here, you can do that as well. Right here. Gives you the alternate ASA adapter so that you can put it on this direction which is cool that they supply that. So let's put this down here. We've got a stock. The stock would be if you were putting it on the other way. And then you also do get a bungee sling mount as well. And I think that's it. No, the barrel's gotta be down here somewhere. There it is. Gutter barrel. So let's put that right here. Let's move this over here. So here we go. Let's let's put all the stuff on here. We're not using that right now, so let's move that over. Let's just put this on so you can get a look at this gun in all of its glory. All right. So let's try to weigh this up real quick, just to see, give you an idea, weight-wise of what you're looking at without the hopper and all the, the balls loaded up. All right, let me see if I can find a way to put this on here. There we go. So we've got five pounds, four and a half ounces. So five pounds, four ounces, We're looking at five and a quarter pounds right there without the hopper, without it being loaded up with ball. So um, it's got some weight to it, but you know, you want, if you're gonna be out there doing whatever you're gonna be doing with this, uh, you want it to be rugged and you want it to be able to hold up. So slightly over five pounds for the setup right here. Now this is a non-electric gun right here. So it only will shoot every time you pull the trigger. We have our safety on the side right here. So we can push, if we see the red O-ring pop out, that red O-ring is right there. We know that we are live and we are ready to shoot. We pull the trigger, gun's going to shoot. Now, if it was gassed up, it would cycle every single time. So this is a semi-automatic setup. So every time you pull the trigger, it will recycle and you'll be able to shoot again. So you don't need to recock it every single time. Down here, we do have an on-off ASA setup right here. So if we need to switch between on and off for the gas line we can we get a 13 3000 aluminum pepper ball tank right here um let me see if it says on here what kind of shock capacity you're going to get off of that um i don't know you're probably going to be with this i would say somewhere in the range of you know 150 shots 160 shots per uh, per fill right here so <coughs> excuse me 
That should be plenty for what you're trying to do, I would assume. I don't know, but just giving you some ideas right here. So we've got our 13 3000 line coming up. We do have a removable front grip right here. If we want to take that off, we can. We've got a standard rail on there and a standard rail along the top. So if we want to put a different kind of foregrip on, we can. If we want to change out these sights uh, for some sort of optics, you can. Remember though, that if you're going to put something along the top right here, you are going to have this loader in the way right here. So depending on what you put up on top here, it could be blocked by the loader. Don't know, because I don't know what you're going to put up on there, but it could be. All right, what else we got going on right here? Let's, uh, oh, we talked about the sights. They are removable, everything on the back. It does have a sling mount on the back, a nice uh, beefy ring on the back side here. So if you wanted to attach that sling to it, you could. Uh, we talked about being able to switch this around. We have that other ASA. So if we want to take this tank and move it coming off the back right here, we can do that. Um, but the way it's set up right now, it makes it more of a compact design, a compact setup, however we want to hold it. I don't know, that feels a little weird. I'd probably still go for it like this right here. Uh, velocity adjustment is on the side right here. So if you put an Allen in there, turning it clockwise or in will reduce velocity coming out will increase velocity. Uh, this is not compatible with the VXR round because it is a top loading mechanism where you're loading from a capacity or a container like this. The VXR rounds are not round. Uh, that's weird to say like that. The VXR projectiles are not round, so they would absolutely get stuck or not feed through here properly, not be oriented in the breach properly and then not shoot out the barrel properly. So do not try to put VXR rounds in this hopper. You need a different kind of marker if you're gonna to try to shoot those out of there. Uh, but here we go. You know, if you're looking for whatever application you're using this for, less lethal, home defense, self-defense, uh, urban control, whatever it is, the uh, this option is uh, quite up there for you. <laughs> so. If, if you're looking for the ultimate in firepower for this application, check this out right here, pepper ball. Let me get this box back over here so you can see it again. The FTC, it's available through the website. Order yours today through ansgear.com. Hey guys, we're outside with the FTC. We got this pepper ball set up right here, tank filled up on the bottom. We got our hopper installed on here. So let's go ahead and pop it open. Got a couple rounds of inert pepper ball right here. So this is just filled with like that talcum powder inside there. Get in there guys. Shoot a couple rounds of that right there. Close our lid, turn our gas on down here. But first thing we wanna do, cock our gun back. And then we can go ahead and gas up right here. And we're ready to go. So let's take a couple shots just over here right now. You can see I'm shooting the ground to get that pepper ball. This is inert rounds, but you can see the cloud coming up around Manny over there. Let's take Manny, take a Manny right there. Ooh, oh Manny, oh gosh, oh Manny. Oh, Manny, Manny, Manny right there. But as you can see, if you're looking for firepower right here and you wanna be able to shoot a lot of rounds, uh, this is a great choice for you. So the FTC from Pepperball, it's available on the website. Get yours today at ansgear.com.